Hello everybody, this is James. Uh, I am the community manager of Yolla. Uh, very happy to be here, very happy to see you all. Uh, it, was a, it was a long journey from Sweden. You, you might think they're neighbor countries, but no. <laughs> so, uh, here we are presenting Selfish OS to you all. Maybe some of you know it, maybe some of you don't. Uh, and here we have uh, Vesa Mati Hartikainen or Vesku, you can call him Vesku. He's our program manager and uh, uh, he runs uh, Selfish OS development and projects. And uh, as you can see written there, he's very passionate about mobile devices and he, you know, all of these, well, most of them are his devices on this table. You can later on check them out. Uh, but for now, I, I will uh, pass the stage to, to Vesku and he will talk a little bit about uh, company status to you. Yeah, so uh, uh, as many of you know, last year we had some financial issues like that, and that's why we were unable to kind of uh, ship these nice tablet devices to the, to the all the, the pre-order customers we had. But uh, we were able to kind of recover from that, and uh, this year has been uh, a year of kind of rebuilding, and then getting back to speed again. And during the kind of uh, end of the year, we started actually shipping. So we have been shipping uh, free software updates, so 201, 202, and 204 for our existing device base. So those will be uh, those are available for for Yolla, Yolla tablet. Uh, and uh, then 202 is actually the release that comes with the Index Aquafis. And we also have a 203 release, which is shipping only with the uh, Turing phone. And then 204 that was just released two weeks ago, again for the, all of the devices. So that's a lot of software updates that we have been down doing this year. Uh, even bigger is that we have been able to finish uh, three new products. So we have a, a Yolla C and Index Aquafish which are quite close to each other, but there is some uh, differences in the, in the uh, radio bands. And of course, the preload content is different. So the index had the requirements of, of uh, doing, doing a certain kind of preload apps and certain kind of features that, that we, we consider that those are not like good for uh, Yolla, Yolla community or, or, or as such, but, but more India-specific things. <coughs> We have done some major new features. Uh, dual SIM functionality is, is one of the biggest ones. So this involves all the components in the in this, the, the cellular and connectivity stack. Uh, most changes being done in the in the Ophono layer, and of course a lot of work on the UI to get that kind of good user experience out of the out of the dual SIM. Uh, conference calling is one of those issues that that people that still use phones for calling, and, and believe me, there are people who do. They, 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 some of those people really utilize conference calling, so we finally implemented that. Uh, the, the Index Aquafis and Yolla C hardware has the FM radio functionality, so obviously we needed to develop an application to support that. Uh, we added what we call scientific mode, but let's just say a couple of new functions to the, to the calculator application. And of course, for the for the Turing phone, we implemented the fingerprint support for the device lock framework. And at the same time, we, we did a lot of uh, refactoring on the framework itself, so that uh, in future we can enhance it with, with other uh, unlocking methods. Then on the business side, uh, the strategy has now kind of shifted towards the, the towards the the working with partners. And uh, like today, you will hear from our Russian partner OMP a couple of presentations. Uh, that's that's like the first big one. So they will be working towards building this ecosystem in, in Russia. And we want to build this kind of similar kind of collaborations between other partners in, in different geographic locations. Uh, the strategy being that the BRICS countries have kind of a shown that there is a demand for uh, independent operating systems that are that are not based in American technology, 
And I think there's a BRICS conference at the moment ongoing in, in India where, where, where our CEO is, is present and, and showing, showing <laughs> this and, and hoping to find new partners as well. And uh, due to this kind of a strategy shift, uh, we are now focusing more on, on sec even more on security and, and even more on configurability so that uh, you can build uh, the kind of selfish device you want. And uh, while the strategy is changing, we of course uh, want to keep our current co co community happy. And uh, the Yolla C device was kind of part of that program that, that there is still device, consumer device available for, for the community. And, uh, and that, that, that remains to be the activity that we are, we are still very much interested in and, and want to be involved in. And now James is about to tell you more about the community activities that we have uh, had during this year and that are ongoing. Yes, uh, so we have, we have this amazing community around, around us, mostly, mostly located in, in Europe and recently lots being added uh, in other parts of the world, such as Russia and, and India, since uh, we are expanding. Uh, we, uh, since, since basically, <coughs> excuse me, uh, since I, I joined the company, uh, we, uh, the, the, the things that I, I can present to you about that is, is uh, the stuff that we've done about uh, the Selfish Community, which was, one of them was the Selfish Community Device Program. Uh, which essentially was uh, releasing a device for, for, our, for our developers and our community and also providing them uh, with, with a bunch of services, uh, extras let's say, that, that we provided them with afterwards, uh, which uh, freshly began with, with our international selfish community event, uh, which was in June 2016. Uh, over, over 100 people from all over, all over Europe attended that event, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was there were presentations and workshops uh, by by uh, our sailors, our basically my colleagues, <coughs> and uh, there was a party afterwards as well. But during those uh, workshops, we had three workshops: one for for design, uh, so basically our, our uh, head of design, uh, uh, Martin Schule, was. Uh, presenting how to basically design a proper Selfish OS application. Um, then there was a hardware adaptation um, workshop which uh, Karsten Monk was uh, presenting uh, things about uh, basically uh, uh, porting Selfish OS to different uh, Android hardware, uh, tips and tricks and all that. And, and we also had a UI session uh, which uh, uh, Jona, uh, I forgot his name, uh, Peter, yes, uh, was, was presenting about that. Uh, so three workshops, that are available on YouTube, actually, you can go and watch them, it's, it's uh, on our channel. Uh, other than the International uh, Selfish Community event, uh, we, had, we have had and we are going to have uh, webinars. So far we have had four webinars, one of them was Selfish OS Tips and Tricks, actually presented by Vesku. Uh, community Poodle presented by uh, Simonas uh, Leleva, uh, SDK Introduction, and Kala Card Dev Deep Dive, which all of them again are, are available uh, at, uh, on, on our YouTube channel. You can go check them out if you want. Uh, they, they are quite useful, they are quite rich, uh, full of information. Uh, really, really useful. Here are a couple of pictures I selected. For, uh, from the from the selfish uh, community event, international selfish community event that that we we had during June 2016. Uh, but overall, the events we have had during 2016 so far has been Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Uh, we were there with, with our partners uh, with our partner Intex. We have we, we had a we had a great time presenting selfish OS to to uh, different people. That were there. Some of them were already familiar with Yola and Selfish, and some of them weren't. And it was, it was it's always an amazing experience in, in uh, MWC. Uh, we we had fruit in, in uh, the, like basically the same event as this one in, in Saint Petersburg. Um, then we had recently, actually last month, we had Mind Trip in Tampere. Uh, that that event went went really well as well. I, I was 
there, and uh, we were we were basically doing uh, device presentations, demos, and also Vesku was there having having his own uh, panel <coughs> that he talked there about uh, making business around the community. Uh, then, as uh, today, we have fruit fruit event here in Uvascula. Um, and soon we will have we will attend slush in Helsinki, uh, which which will be a good one as well, as expected. And there are more to come. We will we will announce them later, of course. <coughs> um, an overall uh, report on Selfish OS community. We have a very active community at at together.ulo.com. You can visit that website. Uh, there are full of feedbacks, bugs feature requests, nags, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of them there. Um, and we, we do read them, we do listen to them, although we are, we are really short on staff when, when, it comes to, when it comes to checking TJC, as we call it, but we are, we are doing our best. Uh, there are thousands of members over there just discussing, uh, giving each other solutions, asking questions, and everything. Um, we have we have active following pages uh, on social media, of course, on Facebook, Twitter, Diaspora, uh, on our our blog, Yola blog, which is blog.yola.com, um, on Google Plus, VK on in Russia, uh, Weibo in China, and of course YouTube, as I talked already about it. Um, we also have a very <coughs> helpful translation community. Uh, which uh, which is basically they're based on uh, they're based at translate.salefishos.org. They are helping us <coughs> translate salefishos different strings, new strings that that we always add to salefishos to other languages. Um, and if you happen to know different languages, please feel free to visit translate.salefishos.org and. Help us out with uh, translating, translating uh, selfish OS to different languages, so <coughs> so your owners can have uh, their updates faster. Um, <coughs> sorry, and we have we also have an active developer mailing list, which is basically something um, kind of close to to together.com, except that it's a mailing list. People ask questions, the other people contribute. Uh, they share their ideas, they share their solutions, and uh, we have our sailors, my colleagues, there as well, doing a lot of work, answering a lot of questions, solving a lot of problems for, for, for our community as well. And we also, last but not least, we have the periodic uh, community IRC meetings, which uh, happens maybe once a month or maybe once two weeks. Dep it, it's, it's depend it depends on... on uh, the topics that people ask and the things that happen on TJC. So we have we have a page there, and you can go and edit it. It's a wiki page. You, you go edit, you put your question or topic, and then you put the more information about your topic. And uh, as, as long as we have two or more topics, we will have a, a meeting about it on IRC. It's, uh, it's actually on Freenode uh, Mayor Dash Meeting. You can you can uh, well, visit that <laughs> anytime you want. And um, we, we have our meetings over there, and the community guys come and ask the questions uh, or, or, or provide us with, with different uh, the contributions that they have done, or vice versa. And we, uh, we do it that way. It's, it has been quite successful, and uh, a lot of community guys attend that meeting on IRC. So that's been it from my side.